Okay, you guys see that once there was a forest there? We just walked through that forest not maybe a few weeks ago and now it's torn down. All in the name of progress, people. Saturday and I have the blue lights in celebration of the weekend. I don't know why I didn't do this yesterday, but I'm trying to make the videos shorter. <laughs> I think that sometimes I probably won't make them shorter. Today we did a lot of stuff outside. It was another one of those very warm days, so we went ahead and took a really long walk, played on the playground, and did stuff like that. We took the beast through the car wash. That's always exciting. Yesterday, I watched the movie Arrival. That one kind of got into my head a little bit. It was a really good movie. Amy Adams was so good in that. I don't know why she didn't get more recognition for her role in Arrival. Sometimes I think that actors just seamlessly get into character and it doesn't look hard anymore. Maybe they're just that character and it just it didn't look like there was much difficulty in doing it. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if that's why they award certain actors over others. Maybe others it just seemed so obviously difficult. But she was really good in it and that movie really makes you think that if you knew what was to come from the beginning of your life to the end, would you still do the things the same way you did them? In answer to the question, would I have done things the same way? I probably would have. Because anything that would have changed, I wouldn't have had the children that I have. And we've had some pretty amazing adventures, some good times. And yes, there have been a lot of bad times as well. But it really has made me appreciate the good times that we all have. One thing I have certainly learned is that while people are still here, appreciate them. If I'd known in advance what all was going to happen, I think it would make me appreciate them even more so. And we might have even had even better times. I'm not saying that you wouldn't expect to be treated well, but just the little things, just let some of those small battles go, you know, choose your battles wisely. <laughs> so a little bit of foresight might help with that. I guess that's enough of that. <laughs> 
you can make a remind for yourself what you think. I'm not going to tell too much about the movie in case you haven't seen it yet. It was more than just, oh, aliens came to Earth and said, take me to your leader. <laughs> There's more to it than that. It wasn't one of those sci-fis where you have, where you scramble your military and battle the monsters. It wasn't quite like that. It was more cerebral. If you're not into that, you might want to skip it. Uh, the pace was pretty slow throughout the movie. And sometimes I like that and sometimes I don't. I think they did this one really well where it things reveal themselves in a quiet way but yet you can stay interested and enjoy it. So if you're into cerebral type sci-fi-ish type films, if you have not already, go check that out. And if you have seen the movie Arrival, let me know in the comments below. What did you think of the movie? Now today, like I said, we spent a lot of time outside. It was very warm. Pretty warm in the house too. It's giving me a headache. I've been a little bit blind today, so the IIH is kind of messing with me. And I haven't been feeling very happy about that. Sometimes I get pretty down about it when I can't see well because of the condition that I have. I get a little depressed. I'm always worried that one day the lights are going to go out and I'm just not going to ever see again. So I always have to think, what would I do in a case like that? And sometimes my thoughts just go dark. Ugh, I don't want to be like that. I'm trying to stay positive. We've got the TARDIS lit up. Might want to do some gaming tonight. What happened was after we took a walk, we went to the car wash, enjoyed that, got some snacks. <laughs> And then I came home, I got on the little square, what I call the square, it's an ottoman, but I call it the square. Got on the square with a blanket and some pillows and I was out. This vlog is obviously going to be a little late, but that's okay because I'm recording the day. I'm just getting it posted late. <laughs> okay, I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. You guys take care out there and I will see you tomorrow. You gotta live that dream I know I ain't supposed to feel it But oh how it feels But nothing ever comes to me yet In a steady stream But you gotta keep on going You gotta live that dream